Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm coming to you today with your weekly oracle card guidance. If you've just come to this reading out of the blue and you have a question on your mind or in your heart, uh, something that needs to be resolved, here is the place to find your answers. Alternatively, if you are one of the regulars who come to my channel, thank you very much. And uh, this is just your weekly guidance. What can you expect in the week ahead? What is the answer to your current question? And we have three decks, um, the Unicorn deck, the answer is simple and um, angel answers by Doreen Virtue here. So make a selection and uh, it's one, two and three. And you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to the reading. I'm going to go ahead and begin. So let me put this out of the way. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to know right now? Simple, to the point, what is it that we need to know right now? Okay, there we have it. It's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You are perfect just as you are. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is that you might need, feel the need to conform. You might need, feel the need to integrate to be part of, and there's no need to do that. And you can be exactly as you are, and you can express yourself exactly as you are, in every way, okay? It's not gonna be a problem for you. You need to do that. You need to be able to express yourself exactly as you are. Um, and if others don't accept you, or if others are offended because of an emotion that you might have, or because you feel a certain way, well, don't worry about that. It's none of your business, okay? You don't need to worry about that. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be yourself. You have to be yourself. There's no other choice that you have. You can't pretend to be something that you're not. And you cannot do that to please others uh, because then you're just not being authentic and then they'll never know who you are and then your needs will not be met and then you will be, you know, frustrated and upset and you will not understand why you feel this way and you will never have your needs met because you won't have the courage to be able to express your needs. So yes, it might be that you have a particular emotion or you have a particular way that you feel about something and everyone else feels differently or they have a different opinion. Well, it's okay, all right? Just as they feel okay to be themselves, you need to feel that it's okay to be you. All right. You don't need to feel that you need to become a part of or you need to assimilate or you need to be integrated. Once again, I want to use this term. You just need to feel like you are yourself. You just need to feel like you're doing something that's true to you, regardless of what others may think of, of what it is that you do. And this is the most important message for you at this moment. I feel that you know, you might have tried to shy away from actually being yourself because you're afraid of what others may think, you know, may think of you. And you may want, you may think that, you know, you will be rejected if you actually um, choose something else, if you show them who you really are. Well, you need to just let go of that. It doesn't matter. Even if you've reject, you've been rejected, what is important is that you are who you are, okay? And if you are rejected by them because of who you are, then... It gives you the space to go out and find another space, find another group where you will be accepted and where you can be yourself. What is really important here is that you always have the chance to be who you are without apology, without excuses and without exception. OK, so that's the message I'm hearing for you today. And it's a very direct quest, um, message and it's very really clear. And uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. All right, I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and much love and many blessings to you all. Okay, so moving on now to the next deck. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, The Answer is Simple by Shania Shuket, uh, the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know in this week and what is it that you need to know right now? What is the answer to your question? Okay, so let's hear what it has to say. There we are. 
okay, go with this one. You are not afraid. Oh, why do I feel like I've drawn this card for you again uh, before, more than once? Um, okay, so the the um, the card I have here is you're not afraid, and okay, so this actually resonates with something else that I've been feeling with the first uh, deck here. Even though the card is encouraging you not to feel afraid. Oh, by the way, it's a number 10. Um, even though this card is encouraging you not to feel afraid, it's encouraging you to stand up to whatever it is. It's encouraging you to tell yourself that you're not afraid. The actual message that I'm getting here is that you need to be aware of, the, of how your fear impacts others. You need to be aware of the function of your fear. You need to be aware of the payoff of your of your fear. Is your fear, are you using your fear to manipulate others? Are you using your fear to control others? Are you using your fear to control yourself or to manipulate yourself? Or is your fear dominant in your life? Is your fear controlling you? Ask yourself, take a step back, go within yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I need to know at this moment what is the most important thing that I need to know right now? What is relevant to me right now? And check, is there space for fear in this? Check if when you are in the space of fear, whether it resonates with what it is that you truly want and desire. Because what you might find is that there's a huge gap between what you actually desire and where it is that you want to head to and what your fear embodies. And your fear may be taking you further and further away from your goals or what it is that you truly desire. So detach yourself from your fear and get back into what it is that you desire. And yet you may be aware that you have fear. You may be aware that you have something uh, to be uncomfortable about or something to be um, timid about. However, you need not let that control you. You need not let that diminish who you are and what it is that you desire. The other thing I'm hearing here is that, you know, sometimes you can actually be using fear as a maneuver, as a way to stay in a certain space and not being able to move beyond it. So what I'm hearing here is that this is not so much about a daily mundane thing or it's something about, you know, it, it could be a mundane thing. It could be something really mundane and really simple and really logical and rational that you need to just do. OK, but what, what's going to happen when you do it is that it's going to open, open up a whole new world for you in which you actually give yourself permission to go in a different direction or because you realize you have the courage to do so. Um, but what you need to realize is actually... How is your fear controlling you and those around you? Um, in this way, when you recognize this, you will, re you will see that your fear is nothing more than an extension of your ego. And that part of your ego, which has no uh, relevance to your consciousness, you know, it has no connection to your consciousness. It's simply doing something that it needs to do in order to protect you. But you might find that the consequences of this protection that you're affording yourself through your ego might actually be not what you intend. And it might be detrimental to your friendships, to your family, to your relationships in general, to your work relationships as well, as well as to your love relationships. So seek out what it is that you feel afraid of and tackle that head on. See what the repercussions are of it. See how your uh, fears have legs and how they implant themselves uh, or grow roots into the world and try to uproot that and put it to the side like a weed and then feel what it is that you truly want and desire and see if love could lead you there. So I hope that's resonated with you. I hope you can make sense of that and that was clear to, for you and I wish you a fabulous week ahead. Good luck with all that you're doing and yes, you are not afraid. Many blessings to you all. So moving on to the third uh, set of cards, we have the Angel Answers here by Doreen Virtue. And we're asking, what is it that we need to know for this week ahead? Or what is it that we've come here to hear? What is the answer to our question? Okay. OK. 
Okay, I feel like we have this already. Wow, big happy changes. So I wanted to mention this right at the beginning of this reading. You know, this eclipse that we're coming onto right now, that is in this coming week, is actually quite inc incredible. It takes away uh, anything that's not needed in this world. Anything that the world doesn't have use for anymore is removed. Anything that you do not have use for anymore is removed. And this brings about big happy changes. Because it's like you've been wading through the water, but you've got like balls of the steel, or some kind of metal chained to your ankles and to your arms, and you've been trying to swim. But you've been doing it for so long that you actually don't realize that you've been doing it, and this is normal for you. And it's as if now this eclipse, you know, it comes and it takes away those things. And even though it might be a bit traumatic at first because you're so used to having this reality and your reality changes within a few minutes, what you'll realize is that it's about to bring you a whole new world. It's about to bring you lightness of being. It's about to re-engage you in a certain joy and childlike happiness that you might have had, a lightness of freedom that you might not have felt for a really, really long time. The question that you have to ask yourself here is, are you willing to let this in? Are you willing to see where the big happy changes come? Because sometimes, even though the balls that have been chained to your ankles and your arms have been released and you're free of it, your mindset, because it's been conditioned to have these balls, to have this thing weighing you down, continues to weigh you down in the way in which you wear and you don't even recognize that they are big and happy changes. So my advice to you this week is, or the advice from spirit, I should say, is where is it that you are not allowing the big happy changes to come in? And if they, this does not apply to you, then simply open your arms as she does in this, in this picture and let yourself embrace the big and happy changes. Allow it to envelop you. Allow it to take place. If you've been seeking healing, Allow the healing to take place. Stop holding on to ideas that cripple you and that keep you in chains. Allow the chains to break free. And accept the reality that there is something such as the chains breaking free and that there is freedom. Accept that. Accept that as a new paradigm and develop that paradigm further. And as you do so, you'll let go of your own your old realities that have been holding you back and you'll allow the changes to come through and you'll be able to feel it. And the, I ask you to let yourself be felt by your feelings in your stomach. Allow you to feel, where do, how does it feel in your gut? You know, if you feel well in your gut, if you feel like you've been led somewhere, not by your heart, but by your gut, how does that feel? And if, you, if you're in that space and if you're in the feeling of flow and not rigidity or not resistance, then these happy changes can come to be. But if you feel rigidity, if you feel resistance in any part of your body, I urge you to work through that, to work through it and let go of it. You know, perhaps do a meditation or perhaps do some chakra balancing or just do some clearing for yourself and allow it to be released so that you can allow the big happy changes to come in. And if you can't do some of these things, just simply put this intention in your mind as you go to sleep, say to yourself, when I wake up the, in the next morning, I am going to be free of that which does not belong to me. And I allow the big and happy changes to come into my life and then drop into your sleep. And let your subconscious do the work for you. You know, let the spiritual support network that you have do this, the work for you and simply be open to embracing it because that is what is really important in this in this matter just being able being open and allowing the big happy changes to come in because it's waiting it's like it's waiting for you to open the door it's been knocking for, for a long time and it's been waiting to open the door but it's as if you've been in this house and you can't find the door and you can hear the knocking and you know it's just outside but you can't find the door. You're in this darkness and you are locked away. So feel your way to the door and open it and then allow the big happy changes to come into your life. You so deserve this and you've been waiting so long for this. So simply let it be, all right? And be open to it. And if you're not going to be open to it, if you have a million excuses as to why it can't be, you know, why you can't do this and why you can't do that and why it's like this and why it's like that, well then, don't be surprised if it eludes you, all right? 
this requires work. It requires you to be open and not and to re release any excuses that you may have, to release any uh, foreboding fears that you may have, any apprehension that you have. Allow yourself to let go of it. And yes, it's not easy if you've been in the habit of it for years on end or decades on end, but at least allow yourself the permission to let this big and happy changes come in. And apologies for the uh, sound of the ambulance in the background. Okay, so that's it from me today. I hope that's been helpful. Sweet and short messages uh, for all the decks. I wish you a fabulous week ahead. Oops, yeah. I feel, wish you a wonderful week ahead. Let it be all that you desire. And uh, may you have all that you wish for. May you slide through this eclipse uh, without any crazy um, kind of uh, events. And may you be held and may you be supported through all of that. Okay, wishing you a fabulous time ahead and many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.